Plenty of spectacular food was displayed on that very long table in the open air, and Paolo ate a jellyfish starter while holding a three-eyed lamb in his arms. He was called Agnus Trioculus, or Agnus Novae Apocalypsis, and it was the symbol of the Universal Church itself and of the pontiff's power. It had been created in a mysterious laboratory, and it was looked after and fed as if it was an animal divinity. Quite unusually, the royal table was not laid with any cloth, but with a veil of water smelling of rose and iris. It looked like a sliding tray where the Tiber's purified waters carrying the rich dishes flowed slowly like those of the sweetest stream. There was something for all tastes. Monkey brain salads with ginger and rose petals, boiled Jerusalem artichokes, locusts and wild honey, asphodels, water lilies and dahlias seasoned with cider vinegar and minced leaves of nasturtium. A seven feet long Japanese salamander seemed in a stock flavored with cornell tree berries and southern wood sprigs. Pittons marinated in fermented yak milk, croquettes with frog thigh bone pulp and lee alevins sweetened in maple syrup. Meats of prehistoric mammals in a rowan berry sauce and seagull eggs boiled in a hibiscus tea. At the sides of the table were two statues of satyrs, made of pine resin, emanating a strong conifer smell. Their big goatish penises were urinating abundant quantities of red wine, a unique Primitivo di Manduria the Pope was fond of. Waving his hand, Paolo ordered to cut open the flank of a winged dinosaur roasted on a juniper wood fire. And as the chef disemboweled the creature, sausages and little quails seasoned with sauces, herbs and spices fell out of its open guts. Then came the final special dish, a fountain made of ice in the shape of an ancient god of the rivers lying on the crocodile. Icy cedar juice gushed out of the beast's jaws, 
and all around was one of the rarest and most wanted delicacies of the time. A big and appetizing cluster of eggs of a transgenic gastropod called Ilix gigantea edulissima. <laughs> 